guys, I'm here with Mr. Jeter. Mr. Jeter, how are you doing today? Doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. What's your favorite part about the Turn 2 Foundation and giving back to the community? My favorite part is we started this 25 years ago, probably right when you were born, huh? Are you 25 yet? Uh, no, I'm already 11. You're 11 already. Okay, so we started this 25 years ago, and I'm happy that we're still here. You know, we've gotten a lot of support from people that you see coming in here, and... Um, you know, it's important to leave a legacy and help out as many people as you possibly can, so that's what we're trying to do. Well, that's really amazing, and I hope you guys accomplish all your dreams. Thank you so much. As a kid, did you ever think that you'll be inducted into the Hall of Fame? I didn't, as a kid, no. My dream was to make it to the major leagues, play in the major leagues, and I didn't think that far ahead. Well, you accomplished your dream, and you went further. Thank you. After having such a long and successful career, how does it feel to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame? It feels pretty good. You know, you have dreams when you're young, but you never dream about going to the Hall of Fame. So it feels really, really good. Which is harder, being an owner or being a player? Ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, no, you know, look, it's hard to play. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. You know, it's very, very, very hard to play. I understand how difficult it is. When you're part of an ownership group, you're going to have to have more patience. How is Derek Jeter, the CEO, different from Derek Jeter, the shortstop? I'm a little more patience, I think, right? Um, I'm lying. I have no patience. Bruh. But um, it's hard to play. What's your favorite part about being in New York City? This is a long interview you have here. What's, what, what's my favorite part of being in New York City? Oh, man, it's the people. You know, we have great fans here in New York. I'm here with some of the most obnoxious baseball fans I've ever met. They've been drinking since dawn, and they are fired up. One thing, when you play for the Yankees, you're always a Yankee, right? So the fans appreciate that. That's what I like.